Tater Tots still doing good. Thanks for joining Tara, Opie, and I here on the channel, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. I need to go get me a new Texas map. Mine's outdated. A couple years, maybe even three years outdated. There's the official welcome to Texas sign here at the rest area. I got all of my Bucky's gear on my Bucky's hat and shirt. Don't know how long it'll take to find a Bucky's. I think we gotta go pretty far into Texas. So not in this video. Boy, this is a fancy rest area section here. I'd never been in this part of Texas and they got their trash cans with the don't mess with Texas on them. That's so awesome. Very helpful staff in there. I got me a don't mess with Texas bag of goodies and maps and camping stuff and even a sticker. Well, yeah. So let me get in the RV. I'll tell you what we're gonna do today. All right, so. Here is the deal. Here's what we're gonna do. We just barely got into Texas, so we still gotta go into El Paso. We are gonna be hugging the Mexico border like crazy. Uh, I can't remember if there's gonna be any checkpoints, you know, like border patrol stops and stuff like that. I would imagine there will be because we are gonna be, like I said, really close to Mexico. I found a harvest host that is on the south side of El Paso. And it's literally like a stone's throw away from Mexico. It's got a funny name too. What's it called? Pistoleros del Adobe Cantina and Grill. It's a harvest house. And so what we're actually gonna do is get through the city of El Paso to the other side. And then I'm gonna unhook Tater Tot and we're all gonna go have some fun in El Paso in the car. Plus I gotta pick up a couple Amazon locker items that are being held for me. But uh, yeah. What a neat little town. There's lots of Spanish written on everything. It feels like we're in Mexico. We're in, actually we're in San Elzario is I believe the name of the city. So we are just on the outskirts of El Paso. I just, I love it. I'm gonna turn in here because I have a feeling. I have a feeling that this big lot is where the RV, I'm gonna read this sign up here. What does this say? Something about quiet hours. This is it. This is actually it. Pistoleros Catalina del Adobe. Yeah, this is it. Okay. That's a cool Adobe building. I should have, the building should have gave it away. Uh, I'm going to park right here for now, go inside, check in, make sure this is where I'm supposed to be. Well, I am in the right place, but they don't open until 3 p.m. Harvest Host has them listed open at 11. So, couple hours to kill. Let's unhook Tater Tot and go explore a little bit of El Paso on our own and then we'll come back and enjoy this place for dinner. All right, El Paso, here we come. The kitties are safe. All the alarms are on. Everything's locked up. I am roaming through a Mexico uh, cell, cell tower. Yeah, let's go to El Paso. It really is a cool adobe building. I just want to show it now just in case we get back in it and it's dark by the time I get to film inside there, but silver dollar trading post it's also so this back side of the building is the city hall uh police and city hall and everything right on the other side of where we're staying so that makes me feel a little secure now i told you we're gonna do el paso a little differently than you might be expecting because <laughs> i like it weird ladies and gentlemen i present de casa de el suca here in el paso texas the house of sugar. <laughs> it's like Salvation Mountain in Slab City meets Willy Wonka's shrine. <laughs> uh, somebody's uh, house here. Lots of stucco, lots of paint, and uh, I guess sugar, I guess. I'm just gonna respect their private property and uh, stay here out in the road, even though we probably could go on the sidewalk right there. It's a city sidewalk, but they have decorated this home completely around all four sides. <laughs> Isn't this something, guys? That is crazy. I don't know if they used to do tours inside, but man, somebody had a lot of time on their hands. What do you think? A 7.5 on the quirky scale? Yeah. Let's go peek down this alley too. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You could probably see it from the highway up there. Uh, 
forgot what this is up here actually, but you could probably see it. Well, they claim it to be a historical place here uh, in El Paso. I don't know if that's official or anything. You know what? I am gonna walk on this sidewalk and take one more peek. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. El Paso strong forever. Uh, most cities would not allow you to paint their city sidewalks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Okay, strange. Okay, where am I going to eat? Do I have any viewers from El Paso? Write in the comments, but even though it'll be after I leave, for next time, let me know what's a good place to eat in El Paso. I'm going to wing it a little bit, actually. And I'm going to save the pistol, pistol Ria place where I'm camping, save that for uh, snacks and beer tonight. All right, we're getting into downtown El Paso now. We are definitely going to find some food. All right, well, back to the big city means you do have to uh, pay for parking. That's okay. I'm going to walk around a little bit. It's like a very clean part of town. It's really pretty down here, actually. There's a lot to see and do. A little bit of English words that I recognize every once in a while, but... um. I don't think I'll have any problem, you know, bartering somebody down on a price if I absolutely need to. Uno plus, huh, okay. Genesis Perfume, they're playing Christmas music here. <laughs> it's right, it's time. I do need to find an El Paso magnet. All right, where are we gonna eat, guys? Where are we gonna eat? There's El Paso Street right there. Isn't that cool? I love it. And they're playing some uh, Elvis over here at Dave's Pawn Shop. In fact, there's Elvis right there. The king himself. All right. Benvenido. Doesn't that mean welcome? They've, uh, they've opened the door for us. It's a very, very quirky looking door. Oh my gosh, palm trees, finally. Cause this is the first time I've been this far down south to see palm trees. Who are these dudes? Hey, these are some famous dudes actually. This is commemorating the friendly meeting of uh, Captain John Pershing and look at that, Mr. Poncho himself. Finally get to meet Mr. Poncho, famous. What a beautiful area. We got a fountain here. We got the American flag and the Texas flag whipping around up there. Over here, we've got the Plaza Theater. And uh, I believe this is like a like a Broadway style stage theater. Oh, how cool to be at night to see all these lit up like that. And the original box office here. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can peek in there. That's probably not it. That's an alley. Let's see if we can peek in here. Oh, it's pretty. Hmm. Food in English, TCBY frozen yogurt and Mrs. Fields cookies. Hmm. And I definitely recognize the green logo. We got a Starbucks here. What we got over here and another bronze statue. Is that, looks kind of like Noah. With the Ten Commandments? No, this is Frey Garcia de San Francisco, founder of the Pass of the North in 1659. Okay, never heard of him. I don't know, guys, did I come to the wrong part of El Paso? I would think there'd be a Mexican restaurant in every single corner. <laughs> Maybe I can wait till we get back to where we're staying tonight. Okay, and so why are we gonna go check out this cemetery? Because it houses someone famous for the Wild West. Concordia Soldiers Cemetery. Okay. Wow, I love all the uh, palm plants and the cactus. Little baby palm trees over there. Wow. First of all, this is the strangest cemetery I've ever been at. And it fits the South so well. With grave sites marked by collections of cactus and other, other trees from the area. <laughs> Here it is, guys. How about John Wesley Harden, the Wild West's most murderous gunslinger? This is where he has been buried. They have also built a permanent jail around him so that to make sure even his ghost does not come out of jail ever. Also, I think it's to keep tourists from trampling over his, his grave in there. Let's see if I can peek my camera inside here. Yep, John Wesley Harden, died August 19th, 1895. 
still a little windy, sorry, but uh, born in Bonham, Texas. A pillar of society who killed to save his own life, Hardin served 15 years in state prison for murder, was pardoned, then opened law offices in El Paso. He was killed three months later by John Selman, an El Paso City constable. Well, they make him out to be a pretty nice guy here in, in, in the ground. I'm told he wasn't so nice to everybody. Okay. All right, that's cool. We gotta get back and see those kitties. You know, gotta check into our harvest house and everything, so uh, we'll get back to camp. All right, we're back. Got Opie with me in the backpack. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna go check out our harvest house here at Pistoleros Del Adobe Cantina and Grill. I love the logo there. It's about 3.15 in the afternoon, so I don't expect this place to be crazy busy, but they got a little outdoor area here, and uh, they say they're pet friendly. If you advertise pet friendly, better include cats. Can't just be dogs. Opie, what do you hear over there? Aren't you glad they're, they're kitty friendly here? This little, awesome little Mexican restaurant. I love it. Here's their menu. So uh, we got some chips here. I don't think Opie likes chips, but do you want to smell a chip? Do, do you want to sniff a chip? It's not popcorn, I know, okay. It's gonna be an authentic mango margarita. Look at that thing, guys. Ooh, and it's karaoke night tonight here. Hmm, <laughs> need a couple more margaritas. Hey, Opie, this is not an escape room, okay? I'm opening this up because I trust you, but you can't climb out in the restaurant. No kitties get to roam free, okay? All right, buddy. Make me close it. I'll close your sunroof. And you like that one? I will. I'll close it. Okay, you be good. No whacking. Whack, whack, whack. Whack, 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 whack. Okay. No, pause in. Pause in. Ah, they even fried my chimichangas. Look at those. Yeah, I got two uh, beef chimichangas with some chili con queso on top and some decorations over on the side. Oh, my. Mmm. Fried to perfection. Tara Bear, I didn't want to stress you out in there since you don't always like going inside and, and leaving your RV safe place, okay? All right, I'll make it up to you though, girl. Hope he had fun, yeah. He got he got pets from people. That's the cool thing about going outside the RV is you get, get lubbins from strangers. Yeah, okay. I've still got the... Oh, those birds are noisy over there, they're cranky. fans. I got the exhaust fans up there open, all the windows open. See, the, the strange thing is with all the cold and, and the snow that was happening up at 7,000 feet in Arizona and New Mexico just two days ago, now it feels like something strange is happening where we're getting a second summer in, in winter. I had adapted. I'm wearing the coat and wearing the beanie. I'm wearing long pants. I'm freezing 22 degrees at night and now it's going to be 55 for a low here in Texas. And uh, it's like the extended summer, or at least at least fall, you know. One of the cool things about traveling. So I can dig it. I'm gonna hang out with the kitties for a little bit and then I'll, I'm gonna go make some trips in there and see how the karaoke, how popular it is in there for that and decide whether or not I wanna sing. Good authentic Mexican food, a really good margarita, a great harvest host to stay at, but uh, gonna save my karaoke for another night. Y'all be well. I'm gonna start heading a little bit farther east into Texas. Gonna edit some video tonight and upload this one. And uh, Opie and Tara and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you in the next one.